This is the story of the Romans coming to Carleon. To begin our story, we need to travel back in time about 2,000 years. The museum you are in today stands in the middle of the busy town of Carleon. On our journey, we're going to go back beyond the reign of Queen Victoria when the museum was first opened. We go back beyond the time of William the Conqueror and his Norman lords, who built their castles all over Wales. We even go back beyond the time of the earliest Welsh kingdoms, who were raided by the Vikings for plunder and gold. We are now back in the Iron Age, when Caerleon was just a stretch of land next to the River Isca. This land belonged to a tribe of people called the Silures. Today we call these people Celts, and they lived in settlements called hill forts. These people were farmers who lived off the land, growing crops and rearing animals. But they were also known as ferocious warriors. During the first century AD, the Romans came to Britain in great ships. Their empire already covered most of Europe, and they came here in search of even more wealth and glory. Their legions wore metal body armour, and they carried javelins, short swords and great shields. Most importantly, they were very well organised. They marched across Britain, destroying all those who stood in their path. When they came to the land of the Silures, they faced perhaps their toughest opponents. The Silures covered their bodies in blue war paint and charged into battle. The Romans, on the other hand, fought with great discipline. Intente! After many years of vicious fighting, the Romans were victorious over the Silures. To make sure that they could keep control over this land, the Romans built a mighty fortress next to the river. This was a good spot so that ships could bring in supplies from the empire. The fortress included a bathhouse so the soldiers could relax, an amphitheatre to train in, and barracks for them to sleep in. Today you will have a chance to see what is left of this fortress and learn more about the people who lived here.